Well, guys, I set this two days ago on this trail right here, and we talked about this on the last episode. And I said there wasn't any real better place to catch a coyote. Got a nice little visitors here. Real nice looking coyote bouncing. I'll see if I can't get uh, him dispatched and uh, I can put that cable back here on this other side of the trail so it'll be good. But there's a storm rolling in and I'm trying to get out of here as quick as I can. So I'll get him dispatched and move on down the line. I'm in such a hurry I forgot to record this so I came back and uh, this trail kind of comes through here and if you watch my last episode this is a creek system and it there's a culvert right here and it's cattle country right here so they're naturally crossing here between the two fence lines there's the other fence line this is probably my my best location this spot here will consistently produce coyotes all the way through the season this is a a hot spot for them to travel i catch a lot of coyotes here so i, I dispatched that and then i reset the cable uh, a little farther down in the circle so it's right in here I'll, I'll be able to catch another right here and then i might be able to catch right here too i could go down a little farther but in missouri uh we have a half inch on our uh, uh on our what is, it's the brush and stuff usually if it's no bigger than my thumb i can't set it so really nice beautiful coyote white belly i don't usually see the white belly ones most of them are red around here dark or semi heavy at best and uh i went i'm going with a 10 inch uh, loop this year and a 10 inches off the ground and i'm seeing my last couple catches are straight around the neck last year if you watch a lot of my videos my loop was big and i was catching them deep on the back side so if you're having problems with that go with a 10 inch loop 10 inches off the ground so uh that's kind of this trapper's progression that we do that's how we learn year after year uh i just i've learned so much this last year or so especially taking instruction from ed out in kansas and uh, we grow as trappers and that's what i'm running 10 inch loop 10 inches off the ground stick it in the trail and just keep checking it and sometimes it'll take a month on some of these to produce but uh gosh you can't beat cabling on trails if you can do it in your state do it well folks it's a new day i'm taking you back to cattle country wanted to share with you uh a set that i made yesterday it's 15 degrees with the wind it's like five it's cold i'm on my four-wheeler of course but i wanted to show you this set now i caught a raccoon here today but th these are really the spots that I, I really really look for when i came out of here yesterday it was raining freezing rain and i made three sets now there's a pond here of course you can see corn a really nice buffer strip for uh tall grass awesome set location there in the corner but i like this pond dam and it kind of flowed through here and i set i don't know if you could see this real well let me see there's this one cattle trail like two two or two or three right in through here i wanted to get more in of course but and i picked up like four handfuls of of uh I picked up a lot of coyote dung and it was just stretched out right in there but I went with a flat set here uh, it was just so easy for me to see and I have a, a bone on it but these are kind of the locations that I I really look for these spots this is a hot spot everything traveling traveling through the country will run, run across that pond dam and uh, there's woven wire on the fences so they're they're limited and uh yeah nice raccoon today and i struggle that early season catching raccoons the raccoons are so thick there's no money in them nobody else is out hunting them and uh that's why i really like trapping in december january when th those guys get hold of but this is a good set location i like it it's going to continually produce and uh just a matter of time waiting on the coyotes to come back through all right. Oh, 
Oh yeah, he's deep. Nice guy. Probably female. Beautiful guy. Deep catch. That's on one of Kendall Overmeyer's junior trap. He's deep. He's got a good three inches on that trap. I'm guessing it's a female. Real nice coyote. You can see the the openings right here, and it feeds out. And I got a couple traps. Going to check those here in a minute too. And then just a real simple cattle trail. And it kind of goes that direction. Have a couple sets in that corner. Uh, this is probably the second day on this trap, maybe third. Got a deep catch. Caught a lot of raccoons right here so far. Gosh, it's just crazy how I many raccoons we catch. Beautiful country. This is on the backside of what I call the Bermuda Triangle. The critters are coming in and they don't come out, right? So, real nice catch. Pretty, pretty pleased with that. And uh, glad we got him. So okay i got my coyote dispatched ended up being a really nice coyote the coyotes have been catching have been pretty good i'm assuming this is a female real nice color can't beat that so i thought i would put together the the set on how i did that so that you could see how i make the set um i learned this from mr ed schneider and uh I thought I would share that with you. It's a trail set. You've got your cattle trail coming down through here. I just showed you guys that. Uh, beautiful, beautiful trail. I already know they're using it. If you want to know what I was using, I use uh, <coughs> Cletus's Bobcat gland, and then I'm using Ed's High Hills gland, and then I'm going to use some coyote urine. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to reset that so that you can do it too and uh it's a good set it produces well for me and okay so he left me a nice dookie i'm gonna keep that put it over here for now and i'll show you how i'm gonna use that in the end take the duff and i'm just gonna kind of move it to the sides i'm gonna reopen up my trail Mostly just the duff for now. We're gonna put it up here. We're gonna re redefine this trail. And then we'll get to the dirt next. My trap bed is right here. So that's where it was. It's gonna have a little bit of dirt work to do to get the trail back the way it was. I'm just gonna kinda funnel him back to the trail. Now Ed would say, and I'm quoting Ed, that the nice thing about the trail set is that you're giving the coyote one less opportunity to make a decision. His feet are already right here, and that's why I like this set. I'm not making him commit to my set that's a couple feet over. You're taking one less step of the decision-making process out of the coyote. So that, I think that's pretty much what he had taught. And that's why I like it, is that he's already moving down the trail. And I'm just going to slow him down enough so that I get a good deep catch. Okay, I got my bed all, uh, it's about two inches down. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put dry dirt on the bottom. Because I feel like the dry dirt helps, helps me pack in the, the trap. And then I'm going to put peat moss on top of that. Because I want this set to be working a lot longer if I can, if we get a little bit of weather. In my state, we get a lot of weather. It's par for the course. Now, when I set this, I hope you can see that. I know there's a shadow here. I like to set this with the pan going this direction. It's just kind of my preference. I'm gonna go ahead and get the trap set real quick. And I'll show you the next process. All right, I'm gonna get ready to put my pan cover. I'm going with, uh, landscaping fabric right now it seems to be working pretty good i might have told you it was a kendall's trap but this is a bridger number three offset i don't remember if i said that or not 
And then after I put the, the, the peat moss on there, I sprinkle a little bit of dry dirt. The peat moss itself is so light and fluffy, when the wind will hit it, it'll blow off. So that's why I put a little bit of dry dirt on top of that. And from here, you probably can't see a lot of that, but I want to make sure that it doesn't wobble and I pack in the sides. That's one of the, the greatest advantages to peat moss, in my opinion, is the weather. It keeps your trap working longer uh, than dry dirt. It does kind of repel the, the moisture. But the bad thing of it is, it's hard to um it's hard to bed a trap in it so you get the best of both worlds kind of you just okay so i feel like i've got it pretty well bedded down there and now i'm gonna kind of take my wisp room i'm gonna make it part of the trail I got my gonna start opening up my trail now And the bad thing is that it has kind of a bowl, bowl look to it. I try to get that bowl out of that as best as I can. Okay. Now comes the next process is I'm going to start working the dirt. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with that so far. Now I'm going to start dragging out the dirt. He's a little froze today. Ed says you want to lay it on real thick. Kind of confuses him. kneeling pad I always have some sort of a pad here it just helps my set clean keep clean and allows me to do stuff like this now I've got my trail about the way I like it now I'm gonna start importing my baits and lures Okay, from here, uh, the only way I know that we have, sometimes I'll put a, a cow duff right here. I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put my coyote dung right here. We're gonna spritz it with a little bit of coyote pee. Put it right there, about eight to 10 inches down. I'm gonna do a coyote gland. I'm gonna put it like right here. All I'm doing is slowing them down. It's on the upwind. That's on the the wind's coming this way, so it's on the upwind side. I'm gonna just smear it, and then I'm gonna smear some other gland lure on the upside over here. Not a lot, just a little. I'm kind of hiding it a little bit. And um, that's my set. About 8 to 10 inches over here. 8 to 10 inches over here on the other one. My coyote dung. That's how I caught that coyote. That's really that simple. So that's the set. And I can see that from here. Because there's a catch circle now. But uh, yeah really good effective set uh you got your your dung and then the, just the two glands and uh that's gonna keep producing so hope you guys like that hope you guys use it on your line it's a pretty effective set coyotes are already traveling down the trail all you gotta do is get them to slow down and uh you got them hey folks hope you guys like that episode We're doing some Set making strategies, trapping the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, that's what I'm calling this property. I'm having a good time doing it. 
caught this nice beautiful coyote today and uh, another one yes from yesterday uh, i'm on the fur hope you guys like this episode if you're new to the channel hit subscribe otherwise click the big thumbs up i'm jinx and have a great day